Hi guys and welcome to the second part of the motherload video. I'm now going to be doing, yeah, this bit. So it seems we have to ride a minecart down, a bit like Nefarians. There's another link to Nefarians I've seen. Now these ads are cool. Oh my lord. These seem to have a cool mechanic, them orbs. So it seems that the, um, the monk must have pulled again. I'll just stun all these and just smash them down. Hope we don't die. We're probably going to die soon. I'm going to get ready to raise up the tank. Ah, uh, I'm polymorphed. So it seems there's a polymorph. Polly couldn't see up. So it seems there's a um yeah, there's a poly, so obviously with the poly we can't do shit. But yeah, apparently the aggro or what he's saying, the aggro is just stupid. And that you can't just stuff just pulls randomly out of the blue, can't really control it, so yeah. So the next boss is over there, Vench. No, that's not. Is that the next boss? It's Venture Co. War Machine. Must be a boss with that HP. So I think this is the guy which polys you, so you've got to make sure you kill him. Energy Lash. So I think that's an ability which you just can't stun, and it does a lot of damage, that energy. Ah, Leech Globule. So that just, um, that will heal him for loads if you get hit by it. Which is a pretty smart mechanic, obviously. It just doesn't reward people messing up. Yeah, the tank's saying that it's just perma-skittish. You just can't hold aggro. Just and all these. So it might be the uh, the alchemist which does the stuns. Yeah, that transmute player to glue to goo. That was it. So you have to make sure that's interrupted. So that obviously it doesn't do a healer, which is what you don't want. Weapons tester. I wonder what this one's doing. We haven't seen one of these yet. Just gonna pop Pillar of Frost again. So the weapon. So see, I'm just getting aggro for no reason because it's just. So we think that it's not just an aggro problem, it's just a DPS problem, and that DPS is just really overtuned. So I think you can avoid a lot of ads here. So we're just gonna kill this mastermind. So the masterminds don't seem that bad, but obviously if they're getting healed up. Oh, so these these rats, they pull last one as well. So it seems if you're on top of here, ads are gonna spawn. But you see, because that hit like three of us, he literally just got full health again. So you have to watch when he does the leech, the leech module. So you either want to stun him before he casts one or just move out of the way. It might be better just to move out of the way. But yeah, as you can see, he's healing quite a lot. That's probably why. And I don't know if the leech gives it to all of the characters around him. It probably doesn't work like that, but... The reason he's pulling so slow is because these ads are just weird. I don't have a target. So I'm just gonna pop Remorse the Swinter, Pillar of Frost. Use my instant Oh, I'm silenced. So it seems that their weapon test has silenced you. Oh god. It's a big knockback. What the fuck? That knocked us back quite far. So I'm just going to grip this ad in so that we can... Um, so that it doesn't stun everyone. Ooh, these ads hurt. They're silencing everyone. 
So yeah, there was a transmute there, energy enemy into um, enemy into glob, and that's what stuns stun me there. Just quickly kill the sad. There's a few of these rats there. We can just kill these. Ah, so there's the boss. I knew there was a boss. Rixa Flux Fame. It's a little goblin. It'll probably have um, a lot of things which bosses do now in dungeons. Is that the boss will have the spells incorporated from the ads. So she's probably going to have just all of the stuff this these ads had. Yeah, I asked if we were gonna zerg, but I don't. It doesn't seem he wants it. So just gonna pull them back and then pummel them all. Yeah. So like, it just seems really weird because apparently you have to clear clear these because they them guys just pulled like instantly. So just you just gotta stun all these uh, transmute into globbles. Because as you can see, they just random ads just randomly pull. I have no idea. Like this is just crazy. So it seems that I don't know if there's. Uh, he figured it out. Okay. So you can't see chat at the moment, but the um, the tank is just saying he figured something out of why they're pulling. So, the trash you pull has an AOE aggro circle around itself. That aggro's other stuff. So apparently all all ads Oh <laughs> I thought he was talking about what it actually is, but he's just talking shit. Oh but he DC'd. Feels bad man. Probably rage quit. So yeah, we just kick the healer so we can get a new one. See how long it takes. Shouldn't be long. Especially in the new dungeon as well. Just quickly check. See if they've loaded in and everything yet. Yeah.
So yeah, we're just going to CC the, these ones and go. Just quickly pull these and we'll just take them with everything we've got. There's no point really waiting for a healer when we can just CC one and just pull. Especially that we have a monk and a, um, and a mage with poly and paralyzed. Paralysis. Just grip this guy in. So yeah, you're just gonna make sure that is um, interrupted. So it seems that these alchemists are doing more damage than the um, than any of the others. So don't know if we can CC this pack and do it, but so it seems we're going to lust on the ads so we can kill them all. Turn them to paralyze moon. Survived? No, we didn't. Okay, we killed two ads. Progress. Oh my god, these ads hurt. But it seems we literally can't find a healer at all. So we're just going to roast these guys now. They're going to do the leech. So we've got to dodge the leech globules. But they'll get full health. That wasn't that bad. At least they didn't get full health. If we kill one, it's good. I'm just going to pop um, Icebound Fortitude. Ah, the leech globule. Don't max heal. Okay, that's good for us. That's good for us. Because he's already full HP. So we can't really do anything about his globule. Resin run, resin run. Oh, the tank's dead. No! Survive, boys. I'm inbound. Ray for. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do that. Oh my god, poggers.
Warning boss ahead. I don't know if that one. Explodes when killed, inflicting. Ah, so wait, every time you kill a grotesque experiment, they'll damage the raid. The other group, sorry. So let's see how hard these, these ads hit. Yeah, so it seems these weapon testers have to be stunned because they do, um, they will push you back loads and deal loads of damage. So obviously when it's pushing you back, you're not going to be healed. So it seems that this Azurite does damage. So it might be something to do with, like, dodge the Azurite or don't get pushed into it. Just going to take a quick look at the, um, adventure guide, see if there's anything in there about it. So, dungeons, the mother load. There we go. So, Rixa Flux Flame. Hmm. So, it seems that the pacifist gun, I was wondering if there was, because there's a really cool gun drop in here. That's one of them. So, the abilities are Agent Azurite fires a steam of Agent Azurite at an enemy for 5 seconds, setting the ground ablaze. So, I'm not quite sure what this is going to be. This boss might be a bit interesting. So yeah, I think I'm going to go blood just so that I can literally survive and we can solo the boss. So let's go. We're just going to pull now. So I'm just going to get up my bone storm up to full and then make sure she's bleeding. So Agent Azurite, so this is what you want to dodge I believe. So I think the, the damage values on this boss's health is off because she's taken a lot of damage. Because we're doing this without a healer. Because it seems that all her damage is avoidable, which is really, really good for us. Like these Asian Azurites, especially with a mage, it's always targeting him, but he can dodge it, which is really, really good for us. And obviously with me being a DK and DK being so overpowered now, I'm literally just not going to die. So propellant blast, you want to dodge that? Does it, it seems pretty, pretty avoidable. Propellant blast. Ah, so it's kind of like an intermission, where she does the um, propellant blasts, and boom, she's dead. So yeah, that is the first solo. But yeah, I might go blood because I just don't die. So I'm just going to pull big here. Because I'm a DK and all. Just going to stun this guy. Ah, so it seems that crawler mine hurts a lot. See if they let me pull big. Ah, so it seems the, um, the technicians heal up the war machine. So you want to be going on the war machine, um, oh my god, that bomb hurts. So the technicians repair the, oh my god, what the fuck? Repair, excuse me. 
Ah, so it repairs the nearest add. You just want to make sure seek and destroy. I want to see if these bombs are, are killable. I can't attack that. What the fuck? I need to get ah, so they have to be popped. Pop vampire it so I don't die. Just gonna grip this add in. Oh, obviously she can't be gripped. Stun her. She can't be stunned. I think I can, can kite her. What the fuck? Ah, so it seems that she does a ability which makes the mine pop. It seems that anyone can pop the mines, oh, so I can soak. Ah, so we have a healer join, finally. I'm gonna do a big pull now. Just kill these ads quickly. And it seems like we pulled big boys. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's got blood plague on them so I can just hit them hard. I'm gonna pop Icebound Fortitude now so I just don't die. I'm gonna Gorfiends grip them all on top of each other and just heal up with um, Death Strikes. I've got Vampiric up soon, so I'm going to get ready to pop that. I'm going to get ready to pop Vampiric. I'm going to use Vampiric now. So I'm just healing up crazy amounts. So just make sure I'm using that. And as you can see, Blood DKs are really, really good at the moment. Really, really good. You can do these huge pulls and just kill everything. So it seems there's a tank. Yeah, you just want to pop these. Just so that it doesn't hit the raid. So I'm just going to pop this so it doesn't become active. Pop, um... Pop anti-magic barrier so I have more HP. Obviously, with these are the talents I'm running. So anti-magic barrier increases my health by 25%. So yeah, we're just talking about what strat we're using, like unpopping the mines. Because it seems whoever hits by first can pop them. So the technicians, they make the bombs active and also repair the nearest adds. So I think they can be stunned. Let me have a look. Yeah, they can be stunned. So you just want to make sure you're stunning these technicians. And okay, I'll pull all the next ads. I'll just quickly pop this mine. Just dot up all these ads, pop vampire it. So overcharge, I think that might be a stun, so I'm just gonna Gorfiends grip all these te technicians together now. Oh, didn't work on that ad. Just quickly kill the technician. Quickly kill the technician. And I think the last boss should be up here. There we go. So module Razdunk. I'm not sure if this is the boss which drops that mount. But they're um they're bringing out a mount which is that. So I don't know if it drops off here in Mythic or something like that. I need to get closer. So yeah, pull now. But yeah, I'll be bringing out more guides in the future, so if you subscribe and comment if you want to see a specific class or anything, I'll comment. I respond to, like, every single comment, so make sure to comment down below. So I'm a Gatling gun, so I think this guy just might be a shot at me, yeah. So he just does a 360 where he shoots everyone. Doesn't seem to hurt me that much as a tank, but yeah. Just want to make sure you're dodging that. So homing missile, I think this is going to target someone. 
So yeah, it deals big damage. So what you want to do with homing missile is if you get targeted by it, just run out the raid because it deals less damage to everyone. So Gatling gun, so you just want to move around to where the gun starts off at. And not run into it like that guy did. So get ready for the next homing missile. Oh, so there's an intermission. So, ah, you have to kill the Sky Scorchers to get items, I think. Because as you can see, um, it says... It takes more damage from drills. So I think if you kill these guys, you get drills. So it seems we're taking loads of damage from, um, from the boss. So we just kill these guys quickly. So once we've killed these guys, what happens is the question. Attacks with a mine drill, 297 damage from all sources. So I wonder if these guys are bugged out or what. So you just, I think you want to smash him on top of these little rocket pieces. And then he breaks them off. And once all these are gone, he'll uh, come back up. So obviously he has to avoid that or else he'll die. So you just want to clear all the pylons. So you dodge run out. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool little phase. But as you can see, it has um, configuration combat. So that is a con configuration de defense where he goes up in the air and knocks down on the floor. So you want to get ready. Gatling gun, so you want to run behind the boss. It might be better for tanks to position the boss actually... Okay. I oh, know he just dies. I thought that was an extra boss, but it's just a little goblin jumps out. So it might be worth it for the tanks just to um, go here. So that when it, the boss faces this way with the Gatling gun, it's just non-existent. But yeah, that's it for the uh, motherload. I'll be bringing out more videos in the future, so look out for that. And laters.